I want an electric car, maybe a Tesla, but I can't afford one because they're too damn expensive. And scene. See, this is what people say when they're thinking about buying an electric car and I call them fools. Fools, I say, because there are actually plenty of affordable electric cars, new and used, for under $30,000, which is about $18,000 cheaper than an average new car in the United States. And yes, that does include some pre-owned Teslas for under $30,000. So let me show you the list of new and used EVs that are up for sale that I found on automaker sites and pre-owned portals. And we're gonna start right now. Ooh, welcome to E4 Electric. First, let me tell you how unfair it is to compare the electric car prices to the gas car prices that we are all used to. I'll give you an example. If you take a gas car and an electric car that are on sale for the same price, the electric car is already cheaper, simply because you won't have to spend money on gas, oil changes, tune-ups, transmission fluid flushes, and even brakes don't need to be changed, in some cases, for over 100,000 miles. With an EV, you are already getting a deal. So keep that in mind when we're talking about these prices. So let's get going on electric cars, new and used, that you can get for under $30,000. Let's start with the new. And yes, there are a couple of brand new electric cars out there that you can get for under $30,000. And let's start with the Nissan Leaf, the second generation. And by second generation, I mean not the older, uglier one, the cute new one. The sticker price is already under $30,000, but with the US federal tax credit this year, it goes down to around 20. Now, mind you, the new US federal tax credit implementation will change and evolve this year, and there is still the loophole for those EVs that don't qualify for it with the lease option. Now, that's a hack you might actually take a note of. You're welcome. The Leaf has 149 mile EPA range, but the more expensive version with a longer 212 mile range is still under $30,000 if the federal tax credit is applied. The next one is the Chevy Bolt and its EUV version, both similarly priced under $30,000 before the tax credit, with the regular Bolt EV dipping under $20,000 with the tax credit applied. The range is pretty similar as well at around 250 EPA miles, all have been updated with the recall fix, so you don't have to worry about, you know, being inconvenienced by catching on fire. I should mention that there are more EVs in Europe under 30,000 equivalent US dollars that include the Fiat 500e, the Renault Twigo Electric, the Smart EQ42, the new Sono Scion out this year, the Volkswagen E-Up, and a few others. Now, let's talk about the used or pre-owned EVs, if you want to get fancy about it, and yes, that does include a couple of Tesla models. Now, I will show you what you can get for under $30,000, in a pretty good shape, I might add. But before that, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by Flow. Always reliable, extremely durable. The Flow Home is a level two EV charging station designed to make your life easier and is compatible with any EV in North America. Learn more about the Flow Home at flow.com. And by newer charge, guess what? The 220 outlet that powers your dryer can now be split to also power your electric car with the help of the smart splitter from New Charge, which will automatically switch back to your dryer while you're doing laundry. Get one today and use the discount code in the description of this video. All right, let's get the used car browsing fingers ready and go. Now, before that, I should mention that there is a federal tax credit now for the used EVs as well, but because of the $25,000 ceiling, and the fact that the vehicle must be at least two model years older than the calendar year in which it is purchased, none of the cars in this video are qualified 
Wah, wah. However, all of these prices do include the adjustments to the federal and other local incentives that the original owners got, thus lowering the resale price for everyone. Oh, and one more thing. You should remember that some of the used EV batteries could have some degradation, 3, 5, 10% if you're not very lucky, and it is up to you to check that, and it should be part of you negotiating for the final price. Let's start with the OG, the BMW i3, which was never a looker, per se, or sported an impressive range, but is still a great second car in the household to drive around for your average daily commute. Or a car to give to your teenager so you know that he or she can't really get too far. Originally 153 EPA rated miles, so it should still have around 120, 130 sticking around at the very least. And look, not even 10,000 miles on this 2019 i3 at just below 30,000. Obviously, you can find one even cheaper if you're willing to get an older model with more miles, and there are plenty of those around. Check out this Hyundai Kona EV, which originally sported the healthy 258 mile EPA range, with most owners reporting even better numbers with real-world driving, which is rare. It is safe to say that it will still get way above 200 miles with this one. This 2020 model with less than 3,000 miles, practically brand new, is right below the $30,000 mark. Now, this is a buyback vehicle which had all of its issues resolved and is still under the warranty. The next one is Kona EV's little sister, the Kia. A Nero EV with very similar specs but a bit of a shorter EPA range at 239 miles. Nero EV drivers have also reported getting more range out of their cars than the EPA rating. Check out this puppy with just over 20,000 miles for under $30,000. This one is also a 2020 model. Now, Kia actually has two EV models that it's been making for many years now, and the second one is the Kia Soul EV. This one has a very limited range of the original 111 EPA rated miles, which means there is a good chance the used one will probably have less than 100 good miles left. This one from 2019 with around 20,000 miles can be had for just around $22,000. The next used EV should really have never been made, the Mazda MX-30. It has only 100 miles of original range and was Mazda's first EV released back in 2010. I'm just kidding. This is their latest brand new model that they've launched last year and still insist on selling. So, if for some reason you want this one, you can have a 2022 model with pretty much no miles for under $30,000. Now, just for the comparison, they are still selling this one this year for around $34,000 with the same 100 miles of range, despite only selling several hundred of them the entire 2022. I could have made more profits than Mazda has made selling this car last year if I was selling chocolate chip cookies. And I don't know how to bake. In fairness, they don't know how to make electric cars, so I guess it all cancels each other out. Now, the all-electric Mini Cooper SE also has a little over 110 miles of range with a very similar price tag, but somehow, unlike the Mazda, people love it. <sighs> And it's actually more expensive than the MX-30. This 2020 model has around 35,000 miles and the price is still just below $30,000. Now, finally, let's talk about the used Teslas. And there are two models that you can afford on a $30,000 budget. The Model 3 with relatively low miles at just under 30,000 is priced just under $30,000. This is the 2020 model with about 250 miles of EPA range, which is still not too shabby. 
And look, a beautiful red 2017 Tesla Model S with respectable mileage, with just above 60,000, with the newer body style, which is pretty much the same as the latest refresh. I can't tell most of the time. Should have over 250 miles left on an even poorly degraded battery. If you're willing to put up with the not excellent service and with the known issues, then this is actually a very good buy. And last but not least, the VW e-Golf 2019, less than 20,000 miles for just under 30 grand. The range is nothing to brag about, but it is around 125 original EPA miles. All right, that's it. Not too shabby now that we're in 2023 and we now do have some reasonably good affordable electric car choices. Let me know which one tickled you fancy. Other than that, see you guys next time and remember to stay charged.